second and see how it goes there. Let's continue with Bryce, okay? Who's he? Hello! I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? No, I didn't know Dr. Decker. He was an antagonistic psycho. Uh, okay. I hope you're not from the same school of thought. Antagonistic psycho? I didn't really like Dr. Decker. And for quite a few reasons, actually. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. I have no knowledge of that. Okay. He wasn't a good man. I don't know how he could live with himself. Perhaps he couldn't. Hmm. Uh... I know you're asking questions to try and get a bearing, but I'd rather not talk about that now. Okay. Let's just enjoy the getting to know you phase before the ugliness kicks in. We, okay, we already had that. What's your problem? Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. Green room, uh, you mean at the patients thing here? Yeah, okay. No, I totally missed the thing here. Um, Originally, I was suffering with depression. Depression, okay. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. Okay, let's first talk about the work. I'm a grave digger, doctor. And people a, are dying. A grave digger doctor or it. a grave digger doctor? Okay. What about the depression? How can you be bad at grave digging? You'd think being a grave digger what does he do? works, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Extra hour? Why does he have a camera? At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm what free to fuck? wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. Do as I please. In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. Like he's crazy. I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. <laughs> There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the queen. The queen? I stumbled across a relic myself. Okay. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. Cthulhu? The best chess piece, the most freedom of movement. But they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance, which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. Okay. Relict. That's meaningless to me. It is not, you liar. Archaeologists. 
Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Okay. Midnight hour? It's a bizarre thing to know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. Yeah, you you traded in with all kinds of issues. For me. But apparently it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. What do you think, Doctor? You... Um... Not insane. I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis. But it's good you're having a go anyway. I think he's fine, right? Um... Artifact? I can't help you there. No. Relic. Okay. Found. That doesn't mean anything to me. Perfectly saying to you, right? Okay. Uh. Oh, so this is just the basic intro for the game and not for every person. Do you know Mariana? I don't have anything for you. Might be a might be a thing. No, sorry. Okay. Uh. Let, let let's listen to. You'd think yeah. being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. Maybe stressful? I need There's to write things There's a trend going towards here. burial rather than cremation <laughs> again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Okay, what about stressed? No. Um Ooh. medication. Is that something I should know about? Yeah, you should know about your medication, you dumb fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You'd think being a grave digger had its perks. Let's ask it can again. Be very stressful. It's stressful we ask. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave Oh, diggers. shovel. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Okay. Let's ask about the burial. I'm pro-cremation. Pro-cremation. Not because I don't have to dig a grave. They still need a hole for the interment of ashes. It's more dignified, like you're becoming one with the universe again. Rotting in a wooden box. Even if you turn completely into atoms, how would you escape? Even bits of the universe get lonely, I'd imagine. Maybe. We're all alone to some extent, don't you think? I don't have any friends, so... I, yeah, that, I that, 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 that is a shocker. Lonely. In the midnight hour, though, I have as many friends as I like. Do you have a favorite celebrity, Doctor? In the hour, I could take a picture of myself with them. Like, we're the best of friends. Okay, celebrity? Pro probably, um, Coolio. I don't know. Okay. Lonely. Okay, friends. That's meaningless to me. Yeah, I see that. Sean, <laughs> Sean Bean. I don't know. Okay. Uh, what about the shovel thing, though? Henley Church, where I work, is located on an Henley old Church. Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. 
Okay. But but we we ask about the relic. Oh, but you already tell Tell me about Henley Church. Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. Bodies? The whole building was once owned by Scientologists. Oh boy. They handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Tell me about the Scientologists. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. Can we... There are too many religions to pick God? from, don't you think? You think they... Uh, no, I don't think... Or let not too many religions. I have no knowledge of that. I can clearly see that. Tell me about God. Have you met him? Met him? No. Um, so Scientologist is a religion. Okay. Tax. No, sorry. He doesn't want any taxes. Let's listen to that again. The Scientologist thing. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Not religious? Um... Belief? Is that something I should know about? Probably, but... I mean... You're a lost hope. Um... Can we ask about the bodies? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. <sighs> Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. What is that? A Norman Mott? Allegedly, Henley Church is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey castle. Okay. I say allegedly because a relic was found and dated around that century. Okay. The archaeologists haven't found any further proof as yet. Okay. I don't have anything for you. I mean, we ask about the extra hour, right? I can't help you there. Excavation? That doesn't mean anything to me. Perks? I have no knowledge of that. Hmm. Oh, that's this. Um... Apparently, I've gone a little mad. Oh, okay. For me, I have 25 hour days. Mm, extra hour. Already asked that, Matt. Insane. Um... Decker. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. What? That's meaningless to me. What? Magic? <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't know any magic. I'm sorry. Um. Let's see what he... I know you're asking questions to try and get a bearing. But I'd rather not talk about that now. Let's just enjoy the getting to know you phase before the ugliness kicks in. Can we talk about ugliness? Doctor, pace yourself, please. This is my session. I'm paying. Your session? No, sorry. Paying? That doesn't mean anything to me. 
Money. I don't have anything for you. Do you? I, I doubt that he is in a relationship, but let's ask. I can't help you there. No, I I I assume I assume uh, so, buddy. Um. Hmm. We don't keep questioning, so there's still much going on. Let's see. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Too many? Is that something I should know about? Uh, too many religions? No. Sorry. Hmm. Cult? I don't have anything for you. Any more? That's meaningless to me. Police? I have no knowledge of that. Stealing. I can't help you there. Hmm. Okay. <sighs> That don't have much to go on with him. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost. Maybe a we stop. can ask about his world. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight. Hour. Okay. Uh, reality. Is that something I should know about? No. What about um your world? That doesn't mean anything to me. Slow down. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Mm, freeze. Freeze. No. I don't know. Freezing. I don't have anything for you. Power? No, sorry. Mm. Stopping time. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Let's ask him about his haircut. I have no knowledge of that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, the universe. We're all alone to some extent, don't you think? I don't have any friends, so I suppose that makes me lonely. In the midnight hour, though, I have as many friends as I like. Do you have a favorite celebrity, Doctor? In the hour, I could take a picture of myself with them, like we're the Maybe can I ask friends. about the picture? I've taken ha. a lot of pictures. Ah, there we I go. Have great shots of all the tourist sites. It's amazing what exposure you can use when moving cars are literally frozen still. Must be the sharp focus. Sharp focus? That's meaningless to me. Sights? I don't know. Ha! Huh. Hello, Athelas! How are you doing? Welcome to the stream. As creepy as he is, part of me feels sorry for him. I mean, yeah, I mean, that is... I mean, obviously, he's... Uh, suffering from mental illness of some sort. I assume, or maybe we have something supernatural going on here. Can we ask him about death? Is that something I should know about? Queen? No, that Quen. Not Quen. Not Quen. That is uh, the Witcher. Ask about fish lenses. <laughs> yeah, we already asked that. Chess we asked. Let, let's listen to the chess one again. There is still a green one. I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the queen. Okay, um... Opponent. I can't help you there. Watching? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Clearly, 
shovel. I mean, we ask about the shovel. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. Oh, did, we, did I ask about midnight? I can't help you there. No. What about sleep? No, sorry. What about colleagues? I have no knowledge of that. Hmm. Can someone look up what the double orange stars means in the dialogue in, in the responses tab? Can someone look that up, please? That would be very nice. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, but not anymore. I, I, we ask about friends to pick from, don't you think? Pick. That doesn't mean anything to me. Pick from. I don't know. What religion? Ah. Uh, evidence. Is that something I should know about? Um. Therapy. Hmm. I would just like to know what uh, these uh, stars mean because I forgot it. It was just very quickly in the beginning and now it's, I can't find it and definitely follow this up. I'll remove. Okay. Should follow this up. Definitely should follow this up, I guess. Okay. So that's what it means. Hmm. We're still not in the orange with him. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, but not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Yes, too many religion. Then we agree. Ah! Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable. And the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts. It's more likely they've all got it wrong than one of them has got it right. Okay. I don't have anything for you. Can you tell me more about Zeitgeist? That's meaningless to me. You just talk to me about it. But now we have him in the or oh now is that now ooh his is now completely cleared so let's let's look with her because we have there's way more going on still I feel uh the prognosis I want to stop having the blackouts I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Yes, I can help. I have no... Hmm. Yes, I can suggest something. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Is a Smashing Pumpkin album by the name? Yeah. Um, to stop? That doesn't mean anything to me. Stop blackouts? <sighs> I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. Can you suggest anything that might help? Yeah. Hmm. I don't have an answer for that. Hmm.
<laughs> um. I don't know about that. <laughs> Split personality. Nope. Don't know. Okay. Um, drugs. That's not really helping with my blackouts. I mean, it might be causing them. Um, blood. I don't know. I don't know, but but how should I follow up there? Music with a beat. Um, how often? Nope. Don't know. Last time? That's not really helping with my blackouts. Breathing. Yeah. Diving. I have no idea about that. What about swimming? I'm a great swimmer. Ah. I won all these medals at school. That's good. I can hold my breath a really long time. Too long. Really. Holding breath. That doesn't mean anything to me. Medals. I don't know. Cutting, I got very fond of her. She's doing a great job, yeah. Um, too long? I don't have an answer for that. That is interesting, though. That one was new. The bead, first blackout. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange, as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Hmm. Holding, uh, hold your breath. No, I don't know about that. Strange. I don't know about that. <laughs> Can you click on the prognosis response again? Uh, sure. Uh, where is it? There. I want to stop having the blackouts. I want to stop waking up at the beach. I want to remember those entire evenings. You suggest anything that might help? What about you film yourself? Right? I film myself doing um, ah. Ah. lots of things. But it's not so easy to do when you're blacked out. Okay. I feel like that is not bad. It wasn't a bad idea. Filming what? Filming what though? Okay. Okay. Picture. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Photo. No, I don't know about that. Um. Supervision? Nope. Don't know. Um. Watching? I don't have an answer for that. Help. That doesn't really mean anything to me. I mean... Company. Oops, that's that is... Company. That's how that you write it. That doesn't mean anything to me. I, I thought maybe, like, we suggesting that someone goes along with her. You know? We ask if she's alone. I have yeah. no idea about that. 
Who knows about it? I don't know. She doesn't know. Um... Hmm. Drowning? I don't know about that. <laughs> Drown? No, I don't know about that. Hospital? Nope. Don't know. <laughs> what about school? She told us that she was a good swimmer in school. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Mm. I don't have an answer for that. I I asked about the childhood earlier. Um Yeah, we asked about swimming. Um Stay home. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, we ask about the nudity thing. Recording, maybe. Record. Curious. We're curious now. Um. Lonely. I don't know. No. No help. That doesn't mean anything to me. No suggestion. I have no idea about that. <laughs> no blackouts? Um, not blackouts. No, I have no suggestion. That's not really helping with my blackouts. Helping. I have. Help? That doesn't mean any- Hmm. I did ask about medication as well, yeah. Hint, I could suggest someone watches. I did, I did do that. I tried that. I don't know about that. <laughs> oh, maybe I have to watch Blackout? What? Watching Blackout. Watching her? I don't know. But d did I? We all did all these. Watch while you black out. Watch. You dance? No, I don't know about that. Since it's always with that. Watch you breathe. Don't know. Watch breathing. Does anyone see you while you are blacked out? I don't have an answer for that. Hmm. Anyone see you? That's not really helping with my blackouts. Um... But someone, I, I, I will just, someone watches her black out. Will you do it for me? Oh. Will you watch me to see what happens? I mean, I, I feel like this, um, I feel like in this case, the hint it didn't count as a hint because you saw that I tried this in multiple versions before I typed hint the first time. I did the whole supervising 
watching thing. I just didn't ask it perfectly. Yes, I will watch. So it's a date then. I'll let you know when. Yes, we have a date. Woohoo! I have a date. That's okay. Now I want to be a, a psychiatrist. It is now, Danielle. But, I mean, we still have things going on here, but... Now, now I wonder, since they're still going on, if I have to wait a date? That doesn't really mean anything to me. When? That doesn't really mean anything to me. I, I just want to see what's going on now. Oh, Dr. Decker was murdered. Murder. Well, that's why you're here, isn't it? You've replaced him. He was a good listener. Okay. I hope you are. Good listener. Dr. Decker could really get inside you. It was, uh unsettling but you let him do it part of the process i guess okay no i don't know about that unsettling is it is that how i don't have an answer i don't think that is how you spell it that doesn't mean i don't know just wanted to check because now I'm a little bit curious if I may have asked some good things but I just um okay, okay. Doctor, let's listen to that again what well that's why you're here isn't it you've replaced him he was a good listener I hope you are mm, replaced him that's not really helping with my good listen I mean we ask about the good listener Dr. Decker could really get inside you it was uh unsettling but you let him do it part of the process I guess mm, get inside you figuratively no. don't know um is it has it to do something with hypnosis i have no idea about that okay let him do let him do it i don't know hmm. did we ask that does she go to the club alone I'm not seeing anyone at the moment, if that's what you're asking. I Why asked can't that... a girl go to a club on her own? I like dancing. I don't have many real friends, I suppose, but that's what happens when you move about a lot. Okay, what about moving a lot? I move around when I dance and Geographically speaking. Okay. Uh, what about real friends? Like I said, I don't really know anyone around here. Where are you from? I don't know about that. <laughs> mm. Okay. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange, as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Originally? That's not really helping with my blackouts. 
Um, geographically. That doesn't really mean anything to me. Um, no friends? Yeah. Alone. Uh, why are you alone? No, I don't know about that. What are you running from? Nope. Maybe why do you move a lot? No. Hmm. <laughs> Suffer. I don't know. Suffer from blackout. Hmm. I do suffer from blackouts, which is strange, as I can hold my breath for a really long time. But I'm not swimming before I black out. Dr. Decker thought it was anxiety originally. Then he worked it out. Maybe I can ask, why does holding your breath have something to do with uh, black outs? I hold huh? my breath when I'm swimming underwater. Most people do. Sometimes, if I'm really excited, I'll hold my breath accidentally, just for a few seconds. I don't know why. Hmm. Exciting. I have no idea about that. Okay, what makes you excited, maybe? What makes you excited? That doesn't mean anything to me. Hmm. Seizure? I don't have an answer for that. Stop holding your breath! I don't know about that. <laughs> Okay, but now don't have anything to prognosis. There is still something to follow up. Oh, maybe you should stop dancing. Didn't we ask that as well? I think I would need to if ask more in full sentences. Want, I'll stop clubbing for a while. It's no biggie. No biggie. Um, you should stop dancing. You should stop clubbing. No more clubbing. That doesn't really mean... Well, um, dancing causes blackout. Um... Huh. I feel like though we we um for now we can con uh, continue with uh, someone else because we have fa found all the key things there all the yellow things that we have to ask and maybe something continues um later since she said that she agreed to let us know uh, or to, to let us watch her black out. I can ask about fatigue and exertion. I don't know. Nope. Okay. Let's go over to Claire. Who that? Hello, Claire. Looks a little bit like our mommy, right? Hello. My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. Okay, small fortune. Small fortune. Uh, small fortune. Being rich has its perks, but honestly... Huh? Hello there! I would give it all up in a heart. Thank you for the whole spellcaster! ...to me from this madness. Okay. Rich. 
Okay. What perks? I don't work. I don't need to. Everything's paid for a hundred times over. Okay. Um, madness. I'm in a bit of a predicament, Doctor. I'll get to that. What predicament? Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Oh, and a history of violence. Delusional. Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Can't take. Okay. Okay. Delusional psychotic. Delusions. As in seeing things that are not there. Hey, Lupinia, welcome. I'm not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. I'm not delusional. Mmm, specifics. I don't have an answer to that. Tell me about the delusions. Okay, what about the violence? To be fair, there was only one violent outburst. That hardly qualifies as a history of violence. And he provoked me. Okay. Uh, outburst? I stabbed oh. him with a steak knife. That is quite the outburst. Shocking, isn't it? Stabbed him? It was a brief moment of temporary insanity. Or temporary clarity, I'm not really sure which. David had been having an affair with his assistant optician, Iris. How predictable. Not just the affair, but an optician named Iris. True. Uh, who's David? Who is David? Keep up, Doctor. David is my husband. Um, are you still married? We've been married for seven years, but we don't have any children. Thank God. For the children? Well, I hope that I get one ending at all, Lupinia. <laughs> that is what I'm working towards. Um, okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Let, let's, go, let's go back to the uh, predicament, because there were several well, things. According to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Obsessive, okay. I haven't oh, asked about that. Violence. Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Okay. I'm obsessed with my husband. It's absurd, really. Why is it absurd? Because he is here. And he shouldn't be. He is here? I don't know anything about that, Doctor. Where is your husband, then? Where is your husband? Um, he shouldn't be here? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. True. Uh, lucky? My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. Problems? I should have divorced him. I wish I had. So much could have been avoided. Can you tell me about Iris? Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. And yes, the giveaway is still going. Hello, no, Insidious like Gala. I didn't Welcome. Kill her or anything. <laughs> it's just that I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Optometry was his dream, not mine. Um. Okay. Let's go. My let's husband go. is not a well man. A well man. We've been having okay. problems for a while now. A well man. His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. Oh, she's I poisoning him. Caring for him anymore. Since our altercation, he's become less and less active. His mind's become less and less active too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. Okay. Uh, husk. David's not ready for company. I hope to take you to see him one day and you'll see for yourself. Okay. 
Um, conversationalist. If I knew anything about that, I'd tell you. But I don't. She's definitely pausing him, right? She's keep like she keep she's keeping him uh, tied in in the bedroom or something like that, and he can't go out. Like uh, what was uh, the Stephen King? Uh, mo movie and book called with uh, Katie Bates. Um, I, uh, Misery, right? Probably something like that. It's the Reapers, yes. Let's ask Since again about that. Altercation. Okay. He's you become too. less and less active. His mind's become less and less active too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. altercation I tried to hurt David once that's why Damn. I'm here isn't it I'm not proud of my behavior but I was very angry it was a private matter though the police should never have been involved can you tell me about the police the police seem to think I'm dangerous I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money otherwise there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for could a also be time. the case Athalasia that's why I need your help doctor uh, now I missed this The police one. <laughs> seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. My help? I need you to believe me. <laughs> That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. Are you dangerous? I assume they think I'm dangerous because I stabbed my husband. Are you crazy? They think I'm seeing things, making things up. I don't want to talk about it. What do you see? Sorry, I don't know. Okay. Maybe she's the only rational one. That could also be the case, right? Um, tell me about your anger. I never used to get angry. Ever. If you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Lose control. She, she kind of looks like the evil twin of Aomame. She's Aomame's evil twin. Let's save that for another time, shall we? I'm rich, but I'm not made of money, and I'm fairly sure my time is up. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's go first back to the Are You Crazy one. Shout out the day goes to Crafty Mod. They think I'm seeing things, making things up. Making things up. I don't up. want to talk about it. Making things up. Yes. Dr. Decker did think I was delusional when he first met me. He changed his mind after getting to know me better, as I hope he will too. Mm, who killed Dr. Decker? I don't understand what you're getting at, Doctor. Please be more specific. Did you kill Dr. Decker? Did you kill Dr. Decker? I think we'd get get along a lot better if you stuck to asking me one question at a time. Kilt Decker. I think we'd get along a lot better if you stuck to asking me one question at a time. Is Dr. Decker your husband? The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. I don't know what that caused it, but bring... brought it on himself. I just asked that for funds, but okay. I don't have anything to say about that. Bring it on himself. I'm going to have to plead ignorance on that one. Ignorance? I don't know. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. Bring it upon him. I hadn't known him for a very long time. 
Perhaps I was wrong about him. Oh, um, so uh, the the other guy talked about suicide as well. Decker suicide. Doctor Decker just had that look about him. You know what they say about us crazies. Takes one to know one. Decker crazy. Was Doctor Decker crazy? Okay, let's see with the police. The police here. seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. I think the game was hinting that to you that kill and De Decker were both keywords. Never, spellcaster. Um. Uh, prison. I suppose after what I did, there are people that might think I belonged in prison. What do you think, Doctor? Can I be saved with therapy, or should I be locked up like a dangerous criminal? Safe in therapy. Sorry, Doctor, I can't answer that. I don't know anything about it. You are safe in therapy? No, that doesn't mean anything to me. You should be locked up. That's disappointing. Don't you want to try to make me better? At least Dr. Decker gave it a shot in his own way. I, yes, I want to try to make you better. I don't have anything to say about that. Well, I did. Um. His health if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. The last few I weeks? I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Weeks and caring. I don't know. What? Sorry. Last few weeks. Caring for husband. David has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair okay. on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there. Just because he's dead. <laughs> he needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. Why can't, why can't you hire someone? Okay, lake house. David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. Mm-hmm. Did you... Or is your husband alive? Did you kill your husband? That sounds like a question I shouldn't answer without a lawyer present. No, that doesn't mean anything to me. He's decomposing in a rocking chair, yeah. Maybe he maybe he did go catatonic. Several hours. Or uh, even days, it appears. Staring at the stars. Um, okay. Let the, uh, what about the main house? David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. Oh, let's ask I about the parents. To myself. What about your parents? Your parents. I'm an only child and my parents are both dead. Naturally, I inherited everything. Did you kill your parents? How did your parents die? It was an accident. But I don't feel like talking about it at the moment. I think we're doing good work here. <laughs> that could also be the case in Sanity. It, it, I feel like uh, I've seen that in, in a movie before. Yeah, she killed everyone. I... Okay. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. 
Perhaps I was wrong about him. Uh, wrong about Decker? Um, since when did you know Doc Dr. Decker? I didn't really know Dr. Decker that well. I never met him outside of our sessions, and we spent those discussing my therapy, not making small talk. You are a dangerous lunatic, and our mommy's evil twin. Guess I said that already. Uh... I didn't really know Dr. Decker that well. I never met him outside of our sessions, and we spent those discussing my therapy, not making small talk. Your therapy. I don't know anything about that, Doctor. What was Dr. Decker's diagnosis? Um, did you like Dr. Decker? Your therapy. Sorry. I don't know. Hmm. But, I mean, we, we cleared her to orange. That is uh, the minimum. Let's go to Ellen or Elin. Hello. I'm Elin. I'm Elin. 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. Okay, okay. Elin. 25, nurse, dating ships. Okay. Uh, tell me about your nursehood. I work in a nursing home for the elderly. I basically do end of life care. Do you kill people? The usual things, making sure the patients are comfortable making sure they're not in any pain and I talk to them. I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. Okay, tell me about medication. I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives. Oh like no, medicine. she's giving a, her I mean, like... Imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Like, she's giving cancer, uh, cancer patients, like, peppermint tea. I'm a qualified herbalist. Oh, God. It's okay, you can laugh. Most people did. think herbalism is a joke. But I'd much rather help my patients sleep at night with valerian or passion flower than lorazepam, tamazepam or zolpidem. Okay. Um, okay, what, what I, why, why are you here, lady? I started seeing Dr. Decker a few months ago. I thought it would be nice to have someone I could talk to about work. It can get a bit stressful sometimes. Stressful. It can be sad sometimes. I don't like losing a patient. But that's the job. I don't get stressed about it or anything. Don't get stressed, but stressful? It's not the job that stresses me. It's the people I work with. The other nurses. They're mean to me. They are mean to you. They call me the angel of death. Oh, yeah. Because Caught so it. many patients have died on my shift. True, Carla. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Yeah, sure. They're old. People die when they're old. I mean... Medically speaking, it's heart failure, or organ failure, or pneumonia. They're all natural causes, though. Do you 
kill your patience. Are you a killer? I don't know. I feel like I'm the weakest link or something. Okay. Uh, other nurses. Okay, that is... They call close. me the Angel of Death because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Many patients, patients died. I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should talk about you. Talk about me? I don't know. Sorry. You suggested that. Okay. Traditional medicine makes patients worse sometimes, don't you think? No. <laughs> you must see it all the time, Doctor. You take one pill, then have to take five other pills to deal with the side effects. Herbs are kinder. Obviously, you have to be careful, just like with everything. Giving the wrong combination can be deadly. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I know what I'm doing. Okay. Deadly com the nation I feel really bad I can't answer your questions um I like animals let's talk about that okay what about dating shows I'm not really looking for love at the moment I'm sort of married to my work but in a good way okay um are you single okay i'm married to work yes i love my job i love my patients even the really crotchety ones you know oh god you should hear what comes probably out of their yeah. mouths. but they're like my children in a way that sounds weird doesn't it yes it sounds weird no Sorry, I don't know. Okay. Uh, any kids? I don't have any kids. Maybe I will one day. I don't know. At the moment, all my energy is focused on taking care of my patients. Poison! I don't know anything about that. Okay. Let's, let's get back. Yeah, lots of I'm hello Ealing. things here. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. God, I sound like I'm on one of those dating shows. You are 25. No, sorry. Okay. Do you watch a lot of TV? I'm really bad at this, aren't I? <laughs> Ask me something else. A colleague said that something that uh, may mean she's an anti-vaxxer, but maybe I misunderstood. I assumed I did and responded, yes, aren't anti-vaxxers the worst? Hoping that conversation is over. <laughs> yeah, they are the, ver the worst. Um, um, how did Dr. Decker die? Ah, do I? I've known a lot of doctors over the years. Most of them arrogant idiots who think nurses are just. She's got a big locket. Oh well. Worse. We will ask Dr. about Decker it. Decker was different. He had a lot of time for me. He was interested in my problems. Different. He was a bit offbeat, but yeah, I liked him. But then I like most people. Okay, what about your problems? Necklace. I'd really like to be able to answer you. Lock it. I'd really like to be able to. Nope. Um. Dr. Decker's suicide. Since we heard that from the other patients. Um, okay. Okay, we have lots of things going on here. End of life. The usual things. 
making sure the patients are comfortable, making sure they're not in any pain, and I talk to them, I keep them company. Some of them get pretty frightened about what's coming. Well, those of them that aren't out of it on meds. I comfort them. Okay. Death is frightening, isn't it? Isn't it what everyone's afraid of? The great unknown. No one should have to face that alone. Okay, comfort them. Ha, uh, <laughs> Do your patience consent to your herbs? I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated, especially when there are alternatives like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Um, I'm really bad at... Um, heavily sedated. Ah. They call me the angel of death because so many patients have died on my shift. I don't think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Not your fault? Um, just seems to happen. No, sorry. Ah, your shift? No, sorry. Um, please? I feel really bad. I can't answer your questions. Okay. What types of medication do you give your patients? What do you give them? I haven't really got anything to say about that. Maybe we should... What herbs do you give them? Are you a witch? I don't know. I feel like I'm... Okay. I don't like it when patients are heavily sedated. Especially when there are alternatives, like herbal remedies. I mean, imagine if you only had a few days or weeks left to live. Would you want to spend it asleep? Yes, I want to spend it asleep. I wouldn't. I'd want to see every sunrise and every sunset. I'd want to feel every breath. Everything gets more vivid near death. How do you know that things get more vivid near death? I don't know. See, Sorry. you don't know, bitch. Caught you there. Um. Okay. Is there something new? Uh, Sorry for writing your notes. Say hello to Elin for me, and let her know that Terry called for her. Okay. Terry called for you. Terry's one of the other nurses at the home. I don't think she likes me very much. Why does... Why doesn't Terry like you? Your relationship to Terry... Why did Terry call? Hmm. Oh, th th there are things updated. Okay. 
Who's Jaya? I don't know anything about that. Okay. Um, how long do you know Dr. Decker? Uh, I've been seeing him for about nine months, I think. No. Okay. Hey, Sassy Waifu, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? We haven't cracked her case yet. Um, they don't mean it. I don't know. Let's listen to this again. They call me the angel of death because so many patients have died on my ship. Are you pregnant? Oh, that's a good I don't question. I think they mean it. Obviously, it's not my fault. It just seems to happen that way. Hmm. Is... Hmm. Why do they call you the Angel of Death? No. Oh. Since when do they... Since when are the other nurses mean to you? Are you pregnant? I feel really bad. I can't answer your question. Okay. How long do the nurses, the other nurses, call you the angel of death? Too long for your little brain. <laughs> um, Why don't they mean it? Obviously not your fault. The death of your patients is your fault. I'd really like to be able to answer you, but I don't know what to say. You killed your patients. Did you give Dr. Decker any medicine? No. Did you give Dr. Decker any herbs? No. I mean, we know why. Why are the other nurses mean to you? Yeah, that's that. I asked that. Why do why do you kill your patient patients? No. Ooh, tell me any secrets. Um, how many people died? How many people died? Mm, three last ah. month. Three the month before that, I think. But only one so far this month, so that's good. Although, one of my patients, Hilda, I don't think she's got long. What about Hilda? She's one of the crotchety ones. Always swearing and spitting at me. Never got anything nice to say. Thinks we're going to smother her in her sleep or something. She doesn't bother me, though. Okay, so we cleared her there. Um, why is Hilda spitting at you? Spitting? I'm really bad at this, aren't I? Okay, okay. Yeah, smother her. Uh, smother in her sleep? No. I think, but I, I think I first want to have everyone on the... 
yellow stage. So let's go to Nathan. Or actually, no, we will take a break and then we go, we'll go over to Nathan.